Alright, so if you clicked on this video, there's a high chance that you either got a guitar for Christmas or you made it as one of your New Year's resolution to pick up your dusty old guitar from the back of the closet and start learning. Now either way, I guess I'll wish you a happy New Year, happy belated Christmas if that's something people say. I don't think so. Also from Sammy the Golden Retriever. Come on, look in the camera, dude. You're good boy. In this video, I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide from how to go from knowing nothing about guitar to going all the way to play, be able to play along to your favorite song. So I'm super excited to show you how to get into playing guitar in 2024. Um, I will basically, all the steps that I'm about to share with you are pretty much the steps that I have taken in order to teach myself guitar two years ago and then I kind of obviously refined it to today's, you know, options and things that I wish I knew when I started playing. This is why I titled it 2024. Also that you think this video is interesting and you click on it. But so this video is brought to you by Sammy the Golden Retriever, my uh, beloved dog. I'm gonna give him this treat that I made him stare at the camera at with. He's gonna sit here hopefully throughout the entire video and he's gonna make sure that you keep watching. Alright, so keep in mind that this video is aimed at beginners and all these tips I'm about to share with you are literally for pure beginners. And by the way, Sammy is still down here. He just laid down, so he is making sure that you keep watching. Alright, let's get started. Tip number one. Fear music theory will not be a necessity in the beginning. Uh, you will have plenty of time later to get into that, trust me. Of course, eventually you will have to start knowing a little bit about how the guitar works, but it's supposed to kind of serve as a motivation that you don't need to be a god in music theory in order to start playing your favorite songs. Now, I've been playing for more than two years and I have never ever used guitar like uh, music theory. I did recently get more into it because I've been making my own music now, which you can check out on Spotify. There's a link in the description if you want to check that out. Um, but anyway, so if I'm come, trying to come up with guitar solos or alternate chords that I can use in the songs, this is when I kind of learn a little bit about music theory and how everything works, just for me to be more creative basically, but if you just want to copy songs that already exist, you're not going to need any of that, at least for now. Tip number two, what you need and what you should get before, you know, learning guitar. Now first of all, this one's kind of going to be a little bit obvious, you're going to need a guitar. Now it doesn't matter which one you get, if it's either a classical, electric, or acoustic guitar, which uh, this one is. Since I am a huge country music fan, I will always prefer the acoustic guitar for obvious reasons. But it really doesn't matter what you get started on, just make sure you have a guitar in your hand. Now, since you clicked on this video now, um, there's probably a high chance that you already got a guitar for Christmas or you, you already own one and you're just trying to start playing. If you don't have one, I also got you covered. All right, so my recommendation will be to get a acoustic guitar. The thing is, I just think they sound the best uh, over like classical guitars, um, which the difference basically is that there's a difference in the strings. So this acoustic guitar has steel strings, whereas the classical guitar will have nylon strings in the bottom. So it is going to sound a little bit different. It will also be a lot easier to learn on the classical guitar, but trust me, I don't know, I just think it's worth it to get an acoustic guitar. Now a great guitar that I can recommend that several of my friends bought when I got them into playing guitar is the Yamaha F335. Um, I'm going to put a link uh, down in the description as well as a picture up here so you can probably look at it right now. It comes in at around 180 US dollars which I realize it is quite a little bit especially if you just want to you know play for fun but trust me get a solid guitar in the beginning because everything else you're just not going to want to learn because it's just going to sound like crap. All right, and this will pretty much be about everything. The only thing I will also encourage you to get is a capo. Now, if you don't know what a capo is, it's basically this and it's also dirty as hell, so don't mind that. And it won't cost you more than $10 and it will make your life so much easier when you're trying to learn guitar at first. Why that is, I will get into uh, later in the video, but I will probably have a ton of people in the comments saying, oh, a real guitarist shouldn't use a capo. I know, but these people will probably also tell Jimi Hendrix to tune his guitar. Of course, you're going to need more skill to play without a capo, but this is exactly why it's in a beginner video, because it's just going to be so much easier to learn your favorite songs, and that's the ultimate goal. So tip number three is I encourage you to start looking for songs that you want to play and make a list. I encourage you to make a list of about 10 songs, not more, not less than that, that you want to learn. Um, I know it's probably going to sound like a lot now thinking that you would have to learn 10 different songs and memorize them but soon you'll come to know that a lot of the chords are actually the same that are used in various songs especially if you're in a country music so um yeah uh just make a list of 10 songs and then 
Let's continue. An artist I can recommend for that is Zach Bryan. Now, if you're a returning viewer on this channel, there's a high chance that you know who he is because I have a lot of US people that watch my content as well as, you know, country music fans because I essentially make country music tutorials on here. So, um, yeah, there's a high chance that you already know who he is. And if you don't, you've probably been living under a rock, but I encourage you to check his music out. It's like a country alternative style. And the cool thing about his music is that, especially in the old days, he kept it very simple and it was literally just four chords and the truth, pretty much. So yeah, it will be very easy to learn his songs and make him sound authentic to the original. All right, tip number four. Make sure, and I can't stress this enough, that your guitar is tuned. Tune your guitar, please. Let's say you bought a capo and you made a list of all the songs that you're dying to learn to impress your friends with, but then you have an untuned guitar and it's just gonna sound like crap. Trust me, an untuned guitar is impossible to play with and it's just gonna be very discouraging. All right, now I'll show you real quick how to tune your guitar using your phone. And so no tuners, so no extra money that you need to spend. Literally just, wait, where is it? Oh, your phone. So the app I'm using to tune my guitar with my phone most of the time is Guitar Tuna. Uh, kind of like tuna fish. So make your way into the app store and download this app right here. And then once you're in the app, make sure you allow your microphone to access, otherwise, it won't have any idea what's going on. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll make a separate video on that soon. All right, all you do is you pick a string, and in that case, the low E string, and you just start tuning and tune it up. Turn left to tune it up until it shows the green check mark. And once you see a green check mark with all the strings, it your guitar should sound something like this. And now a good rule of thumb on how to tune these strings. Again, I will make a separate video on that, but just for now. If you use your left hand and you turn the peg, so these things, towards your body, then you're gonna tune them up, no matter uh, if, they're on, if they're on this or that side. Again, tune them away from your body with your left hand to tune it down. Right, tip number five, watch one video on guitar theory and one video only. Now you will need to know a little bit about how the guitar works in order to start understanding all the tutorials that are out there, but don't fear, I will show you right now everything you need to know and I will also make a video uh, very soon explaining everything in detail, but just for now, a quick starter guide uh, so you can get a little head start. The guitar has six strings. They're tuned after notes such as E, A, D, G, B, E. A good sentence to kind of memorize this is gonna be Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. And yeah, I, I don't know who came up with this, but genius. The highest string is the first string. It's the bottom one. If from your perspective, it's gonna be the bottom one. The lowest string is gonna be the low E string. It's gonna be this one, it's a bass string. This right here is called a fret. So this is fret number one two, three, four, five. So the space in between the two metal bars is a fret. All right, and then in some tutorials, you're gonna have people saying that you, for example, have to play first fret, second string. In that case, it's gonna be your first fret, and then second from the bottom up, so one, two. So that would be first fret, second string. This will be third fret, um, sixth string. Up here, all the way. So yeah, so just take a second, look at your guitar, and just kind of figure that out, what everything is. And then one more thing, this, is a chord, a E minor chord in particular, and it looks something like this. Now you may wonder if you ever see this, like how the hell am I supposed to read this? Well, it's actually quite easy. The blue dots on this diagram basically represent your fingers and where you're supposed to put them on your guitar. If you look closely at this diagram, you'll see six strings, which surprisingly um, indicate the six strings on your guitar. And then from side to side, you'll also see the different frets. Again, they're right here. The right end of this diagram is basically supposed to show you uh, where the guitar starts. And now as you can see in the blue dots, the numbers one and two basically indicate your fingers, finger number one, middle fingers two, ring finger three, pinkies four, and your thumb would be marked as a T. Now don't get confused, thumb is not finger number one. So you're supposed to play this with your index finger and your middle finger on the second fret, fifth, and fourth string. And then the rest you just play open, make sure your fingers don't touch it, and just drum. Just press down as hard as you can. The X on the side basically means that you're not supposed to play the string when you play the chord, and an O, and an O or zero, whatever you want to interpret it as, basically means you need to play the string open. Open would literally be just like this, without pressing down or anything. This is just something you want to learn before you even start playing and start looking at tutorials, as well as these tabs on the internet that show you what to play, because this is literally the ABCs of playing guitar. And then step number six, head over to Ultimate Guitar and search for your favorite song. Now if you don't know what Ultimate Guitar is, it's basically a website or an app that will give you access to all your favorite songs for free. There is a paid option with a little bit more professional tabs, but the community made ones are really, really good and really accurate, so 
you really don't need it in the beginning. And even if you wanted it, it would cost around $14 a year, so not that bad. But trust me, this will be your best bet for learning new songs. Now, I will include the link to the website, and you can also download the app in the App Store. Um, just, you know, you can have it on your phone or your laptop or iPad, whatever device you're on, really. All right, so step number seven. Once you're on the Ultimate Guitar website, have a look at your favorite song and look at the chords. Once you find yourself on that platform, on either the website or the app on your phone, you can choose any song you like. And my tip is always look for the one that has the best ratings and these are usually the most accurate. All right, so let's choose Head and South, one of my favorite songs by Zach Bryan. And on there you have several options just such as simplifying the chords as well as transposing. Now in order for the transpose feature to work, you will need a capo. The transposing feature will apply when you want to play your favorite songs, but the chords just look way too hard or confusing, and you just want to switch your chords while still having the same sound. I will explain this later in the video. Step number eight, learning how to play the chords and learning how to switch in between them. Now again, as you already saw, when you click on a song, you will see the chords that you're going to need to play it, and you're going to have a little diagram that will show you basically on how to play that chord, just kind of like the diagram I showed you a few steps before. You're probably thinking, what is the best way to actually get persistent with changing in between these chords and playing them so it doesn't sound absolutely horrible? Now my tip will be doing it step by step. So your first step will be to memorize the chord that you want to learn. So for example, put your fingers away and then memorize the C chord and then you know, just put your fingers on there and then put it off again and just learn where to put your fingers. After that, press down and just strum it and make sure you get a clean sound. In the beginning, you're going to have a little bit of a buzz noise, but it's going to sound something like this. Just press down hard enough. I know it's probably going to hurt in the beginning, but this will go away at some point because you get calluses and then your fingers will look like the freaking Grand Canyon. Pain in the beginning is just temporary, so don't get discouraged by that. And then your first step is going to be learning all the different chords and then learning how to change in between them. Now, you don't have to do a certain order, you can just play whatever comes to mind. Um, just make sure that you learn to switch in between the chords and you get that muscle memory down. At this point, don't use any strumming pattern at all. Literally just do one strum. So. Something like that. Now, because this is what I see a lot of beginners doing is they want to start strumming right away and obviously, there's a lot going on in the brain when you have to play with your left and right hand different things at the same time So it's probably gonna like overwhelm your brain in the beginning, which is totally normal So um, yeah, don't do any strumming patterns Just do focus on the left hand at first and then once you have the left hand down Focus on the right hand and then tip number nine will be strumming along to the song in real time Basically playing it on a backing track in YouTube or Apple music or Spotify Whatever you listen to the music on and then have your ultimate guitar website open So you make sure you keep track of the song and then just literally start playing along Something like this and keep it in the background and follow it in real time and then step number ten once you have the chords down and you can switch in the proper speed um, you can then start implementing very simple strumming patterns. And honestly, the fastest way to do it is literally once you're able to one strum all the different chords, it's just adding a second down strum before you switch. So basically doubling the speed of your strumming. So instead of doing... Do something like... Now once you got two, go to four, so do it a little bit faster, so something like... Literally just something like that. You don't have to be creative in the beginning. Just make sure you get used to like both your hands doing different things at the same time. And then once you have that down as well, it is time to implement the very first universal strumming pattern that there is. This is actually a super helpful tip for any beginner out there if you don't know that yet. Um, and this will be literally be helpful in every single song that you want to play for some reason. Um, and this is the strumming pattern that goes something like down, down, up, down, up. Um, I don't know why that strumming pattern works with literally every song you play, but it just does. So make sure you use it. Basically, all you do is you play down, down, and then you have a little pause, and, the, and then you go up, down, up, and then you switch immediately. So down, down. And then just try to do that with different chords, preferably in the ones of the song that you probably want to learn, and then this strumming pattern will work very likely in that song that you're trying to learn. Now you, because you will see the strumming pattern in a lot of my tutorials as well. And now here's just a little tip for uh, you that are trying to learn to strum without a pick. What I recommend doing is when you down strum, do it with the back of the nail of your index finger. So down and then when you go up, just kind of like pull your hand up and do it with the nail of your thumb. So like, 
like this, and then you pull it up. So it's like this motion, like a whip, you know, like like that. You, you strum it down, kind of like you whip your wrist down. And then when you do the up strum, kind of like pretend that you're looking at the time on your watch. And then you just kind of like turn it up and do that. Just make sure you practice that a lot. Um, and this is not, this is just something that will come over time and it's not something that you can usually do right away. So don't stress about that, it will come. Step number 11 is gonna be looking up new songs with new chords that you don't know already. This will help you just, you know, get better at overall guitar, learning new chords. You can bring a little bit of variety in there because you play new songs and you don't play the same thing all the time. And um, yeah, it's just something that I did to pretty much learn to play guitar is I just played my favorite songs and the more songs I looked up, obviously the more chords there were that I had to learn, um, but the more also existing chords there were already that I already knew how to play, which then made the learning faster. So literally my tip will literally just be learn the chords, learn how to basically read a diagram, and then learn how to strum it, and then learn how to switch in between different chords of different diagrams, and then just literally do that until you know all the chords. All right, now tip number 12. When you do that and you look for all different sorts of videos, you will come across bar chords. A bar chord is basically a chord where you have to bar your whole finger across all six strings. And this is actually very, very hard as a beginner if you don't have the strength yet. Now I already made a video on how to learn it really fast and like the best ways to like improve faster. You can watch it right here and you can just learn how to play the bar chord, but there is probably a high chance that you're gonna try to avoid it. And this is then again where this transposing feature I was talking about earlier comes into play. All right, let's say you find a song that you wanna play, but there's this one chord that is probably a bar chord uh, that you really don't wanna play. All right, just go into the transposing section, hit the minus until you see chords that you do know how to play. Put the capo on whatever number the thing says. So if it's minus four, just put it on the capo on the fourth fret. And then play the chords that are displayed on screen. It will automatically change. Now, since you probably don't know anything about music theory yet, it's literally basically just saying that if you play a song here and the, ori the original sound of a chord, like a note in the song was this on the second fret of the sixth string, but then you transpose it to minus two, it'd be minus one, minus two. Now Ultimate Guitar is telling you to play the chord open. And then basically by putting the capo on the second fret, you compensate for that transposing, and you're gonna have the same sound again with different chords. All right, so this will literally be everything you need to know in order to play and start learning guitar in 2024. And if I just have to sum it up in like a few words, it's basically get a guitar, learn how to read a diagram, and then learn how to play the chords on the guitar without doing anything with your right hand, just make sure you can strum it once and you can switch in between them in time. Once you have that, you basically uh, try to play it along in real time, the song of your choice, and then implement simple strumming patterns and then keep doing that cycle all over and over again. And this will literally be everything you need to know. This is honestly how I taught myself guitar two years back and now I can play pretty well actually. And again, obviously this video won't make you a pro, it won't make you a, you know, guitarist, but it will give you a solid foundation to get good at guitar in the future. Plus, you'll just have fun being able to play all your favorite songs. And this is just something that's extremely important in the beginning, is playing songs that you love and that inspire you, that make you want to pick up the guitar, even if it takes you a little bit longer to learn, are going to be so much more fun to learn rather than learning to play Happy Birthday or some kids songs, because this is not something you care about probably. If you if it is, then that's awesome, then just learn that. But if it probably isn't, because it wasn't for me, so I just started playing songs around the radio, like country radio, and I would just start picking out songs I would wanna learn, even though they were difficult, I never stopped trying, I just learned the chords and just, you know, built my way up from there. So. As opposed to the piano, the guitar is super easy to learn and I definitely encourage you to pick it up and put it as a focus in 2024. Just, you know, start being creative and probably soon you'll be probably be finding yourself, you know, writing your own songs, which I never would have imagined. But now here I am making my own songs, trying to become a full-time musician. It's just something that kind of like came with uh, learning guitar. I just had, you know, started, you know, developing a passion for it and now it's just all I do or like all I want to do. So um yeah thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped. If it did let me know in the comments. If it didn't keep it to yourself. No I'm just kidding. Let me know if you want to have you know anything improved, edited or if you know if you make a new video if it was that bad. 
But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great time learning guitar. It's super fun to play. Super fun that you're, you know, deciding to get into it. And um, yeah, uh, check out my channel. There, I have so many tutorials on all different kinds of songs. So it's definitely a good starting point for you once you know your basic chords. Since all my videos are very beginner friendly, you're not gonna have any hard times, uh, you know, trying to keep up, honestly. Make sure to subscribe and like this video again so it gets pushed out a lot more people. And um, yeah, so we can grow this community in 2024. We have big plans for this channel. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.